beast team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah mobile game. Um, yes, this this is exa exactly you beast team. Well, so actually, so it looks ground. annoying, especially if it burns the Bulu. Well, I don't know the team exactly, but it's Z. It's, I assume it's Z Trump, right? Yes. I think it's SD, Z ground now. Yeah, it's it's SD rocks ground doom. Exactly. I have not seen this team. I've only seen a UB team with Pax and uh, guard jump. I haven't seen this version. I think I. I, I think this, I have. This does he have a scarfer? A scarf ground maybe. Kinda sucks. Is it Scarf Gren or does he not have a Scarf? Uh, I think it's Scarf Gren. So the Mew... Sure. The Mew might be... Um, is it Wisp to attack Soft Bolt or is it Offensive Z? Oh, no, it's just, never mind. I, I have another version. Ice Cream, Ice Cream, Ice Cream, Ice Cream, Ice Cream Alpha, Ice Wisp, Soft Bolt? Yeah, that sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, on the version I have it's Wisp, Ice Cream, EP and Rose. Yeah, that's yeah, just like basically. a standard set. Uh, on Mew, if you... Like, Defog is kind of ass because you want something to hit Trend. I only run Defog yeah, if I really have... Annoying, actually. I've only had. He was really good in this game. Yeah. Like, Suikun is nasty though, because if he subs up, he can protect and stall Bulu's PP out and potentially burn it. Um, Morwal probably doesn't want to take a flamethrower here, so we could see a switch into Mew or a switch into Tornadus turn 1. Yeah, into Mew mm -hmm. on a flamethrower? Yeah, exactly. And then. Uh, and obviously, Ash Catching Gamer doesn't want to get burned here. Like, he has, oh, actually, you guys are right. Really? He, has no, he has no good will with Switch, and you guys were right. I didn't look at that earlier. I mean, the, I, I would have gone into Torn Natus there. To death, the real. I would have just yeah. gone Torn there. I don't know why he went Driller. But yeah, it's a bulky drill, obviously. But uh, spin. Looks like a Cory team, actually, that Ash Catching Gamer is using, but it's not a Cory team, probably. Yeah, yeah Extra Drill was Steeler. and Torn looks like a Cory team as fuck. And then uh, Cory was also using a low punny earlier in his Snake game. Too bad this Garchomp doesn't have Fire Fang. Garchomp is just I gonna go for Rocks here, and the Celesteela is gonna come out, I think. No, it doesn't have Fire Fang. I, I think. think Sorry said you could change the Z move around. I mean, IUB said you can change the Z move around in this team. So he said it's Z if ground. it is hmm. Outrage, if it is Z Dragon, then Z ground would be hard if it can bop the Suigun later. Oh, oh, he went for Rocks. Okay. So now, now Catching Steve Gamer is gonna, gonna throw up a Heavy Slam or Leech Sheet here. It's either Mew or Torn is gonna come oh, out okay. and misses. So now he's gonna go back to Drill because he doesn't want anything else to get burned. He could potentially pull a double, but I guess just Wisp again as well. Elf Pulse Wait, did not catches that. And yeah, that's like around max death Drill, I think. Because that is nothing. Rapid Spin. Yup. Well, I guess Celestila couldn't really do anything to the Mew, so Earthpaw again was completely fine. The, the worst that could have happened there is Leech Sheet into Earthpaw and you don't do anything. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he wow. rapid spawn, rocks just go back up. Goes Buddha predicting a Leech Sheet, which is like a risky play, but I guess it works in this case. Gets him the terrain up. The terrain helps his Mew to have, um, like, to not get chipped that much from Leech Sheet. And yeah, he breaks the nice. obvious um, switch and goes for Leech Sheet again. It would have been hard, like, I don't, he should have never SD'd there, but it would have been hard to SD and then switch out next turn <laughs> to flex on the guy. Yeah. So Torn, um... That's kind of... What did you say? Did I just <laughs> Torn can knock off our U-turn here. Taunts, okay, so this is... Potentially this doesn't have U-turn, it might be a Taunt knockoff Hurricane Defog variant. Uh, well, he might, he might actually have U-turn or, like, his coverage move. Off. Yeah, he might he have coverage enough. move, like, superpower, because he has spin on the drill already. <laughs> So that barely does, so he does have U-turn oh, instead. Shit. Yep. Have, oh wait, did he U-turn if it's... what? Because it's kind of obvious that the Torn is Helmet on this team, since uh, Budo gives opposing Kartana to Reyna, I always talk about this. Which means opposing Kartana like, becomes even more threatening, so you need a bulky Helmet Torn, so it was really obvious that he was Helmet and he should not have U-turned there. Now, <clears throat> this Lele... Is this a Scarf or Specs or Z-Move? I'm actually not sure. Like, he doesn't have another Scarf, but... Exactly. Yeah. Cory teams also didn't have a scarf, so I'm really not sure. And like Cory had a team that was kind of like this. Since he has like he has low bunny with he has low bunny with fake out. Like I don't know if his team has an, his team doesn't really have enough breaking power, but his team also wants the speed, so this is like really odd. I don't know how. Don't go for ninja. He's clicking moonblast. I guess Pudo for here sure. the um. Never mind. Yeah, like moonblast and psychic both would have done. Yeah, that's not specs. I think that's not right. Now Salastila is coming out, so I guess he just horn leech to protect to get health back. As much health as possible, and yeah. Hey, you get so much health back. And you pretty much back at full after another protect here. And it's the Boclix lead sheet again on the protect, and does he predict the Mew? <laughs> yeah. So uh, you can potentially. Guess you just 
Wisp again here. I mean, soft, but maybe a double breath in the drill. Double into Gacha oh. maybe, but then he just goes back into Celesteela. Uh, double into Greninja as an option. Do you know if it's Ash or Scarf Grin? I have the team. Okay. Let me look for it. But uh, I feel like double into Chompa here is fine, and then from there you can potentially double again. Oh, softball is also an option. Yeah, just roost. That was also okay, but now Drill gets so much health. Yeah. Terrain leftovers uh, cancels out the burn, and then he gets Leech Shield recovery. Obviously, he doesn't want to stay in there on a potential Toxic. I feel like doubling might have been better into Chomper, but I get that he want to, wants to keep the Mew healthy. Now, Celestia is going to come out here, so do you double into... I don't know the Greninja cover. I think. Does Greninja have any coverage to hit Celest? If it's Scarf, then definitely not. Oh, obviously not, but I thought if it's like Protein... So it might be Ash. Yeah, I mean, Ash specs still would do a good chunk, but the, the thing is, he can just protect with the Celesteela on the Gren, if it's Ash. And then you can just see if it locks into the pump, I, or you I, can go into Ku. Again, uh, um, no, so only protect. He might want to scout for Fire Fang, like, then it's set potentially protect. But, like, if it's Fire Fang, this is a huge problem for him. He goes hard lately, which is awful. Wait! Right, that was a really weird play. I think he predicted the Dragonium. Did he is get he it? Iron Head? Continental Crush, ooh, that's hard. Z Crush. Okay, oh, Crush oh, yeah, would have, yeah, crush would have crush. done a lot to the sellers. I didn't know it was Crush, I thought it was the Outrage. <laughs> or the Earthquake, like you said. One of the two. Yeah, I thought it was the Yeah, Crush is um, Bob's like stuff like Zapdos. I don't know. I guess it's like n good neutral damage versus stuff like Sellers Dealer. What else does it hit? Maybe it kills Torn from Fall. That could be a cool lure. I don't know what else it's for. Damn, I got a brain for, for a second. I, I read that as cards keep crashing instead of continent. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it also does a lot to Bulu if you um, read Bulu a little bit. But I mean, Z Ground also does a lot to Bulu because Z Ground ignores grassy terrain, I'm pretty sure. So, low pony effect, yes, no returns, okay. Does. Obviously, if the Gachamp was in rain, then that was the correct play. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, Gachamp was at 48, so I, I assume that was probably gonna kill. I don't know the calc on that. So, yeah, if it kills, then that was the correct play. Now he has to sack the Torn here. I, if the Mew is the Mew is most likely a fast variant, otherwise the Mew could have switched into the low pony with ease. But uh, yeah, you return, the, return does 50 minimum. Like I know that Mew is probably it. fast, which means uh, you run speed for Heatran, um, potentially even run speed for Kieran Black to whisk them before they bop you with the uh, Iceium, stuff like that. So now um, I think you T punch here. He doesn't have a good have switch that. in at all. I mean, he might just sack the drill. So I don't know if you T punch. Oh, that, oh, that is true. Um, that is true. Yeah, you just play over T punch, probably. I don't know the model. It is, I think it is, it is Thunder Punch, so it's elemental. Okay, if it's elemental, then I was going to suggest knockoff, but it doesn't have that. Okay. Um, if it's if it's the same team, maybe you'd be me. It's elemental with no soft. Um, do you have a double that covers Celestia and Drill here? Actually, if he's Fire Fang, you click Fire Fang. Then so I don't know. Yeah, the Fire Fang could be a um, good play. It doesn't kill the low pony, but I don't think it does. But it hits the Drill and the Celestia, and one of them is definitely coming oh, out. And never mind, player did so much. I mean, obviously, but I thought he would potentially go into Salas, so that's why I thought five. Things. So this, I think this doesn't have Sucker Punch, right? Because UB likes whoever made this team. But if UB made it, it probably doesn't have Sucker Punch because UB likes the auto attacking yeah. more. Well. Yeah, I mean, I also like. It turns up, turns up anyway. Dude, I didn't have my headphones in exactly, so I couldn't like the entire time. The audio was like lower, and it should have been. It's a big rip. Twenty-one. Oh yeah, it's burned, but still. And it was a big Just play. stone it here? I mean, potentially double out, but I guess... That's, good. That's good shit. Damn, the boy is risky edging the executor. <laughs> um, like, risking the... Okay, mess. Now risking you just can't punch, punch and you get a kill. Exactly. Um, yeah, executor does... To rocks. Rocks. Yeah, does to rocks, exactly. So uh -huh. can... No, it doesn't, but it does... Because it takes 3%, I think. Well, I mean, maybe... Yeah. Like, even if it says 4%, it might be a 3% yeah, going yeah. shoulder. I think it's gonna die. But it's gonna die to rocks out. plus burn anyway. Doesn't leftovers go first before burn? Uh, actually, yeah, it go yeah. first before. It's only mm. weather that uh, weather goes first before lefties. I mean, <laughs> if you have fire thing, why not click that? Exactly. I hope he has fire thing. The thing is, T punch would also hit the coon, but there's no way he goes coon because coon is like his hope, his only hope to win this if it can burn the bulu, I guess. Well, the the low pony looks also a bit annoying, but. The Mew is still somewhat healthy. Like, the Mew is... Please, yeah, it please lives. be fine. Does he fire? Ah, fuck it. T-Punch. Yeah, ah, see, I, like, I knew it would um, get leftovers before the burn, but I thought it would die to rocks. Damn. So, um, Earthquake is gonna come out here. This... This has Toxic. So he, Oh, he does have Sucker. I didn't know that. Oh, he does have Sucker. Damn, Wait. so this is, Maybe this is a different team, or he just changed it. 
Yeah, I think yeah. Kid of Death likes SD a lot. Uh, I think you just spam Sucker Punch right now, cause yeah. Well, this, if this guy is insane and saves the drill for some reason, like it's not worth it to to get off. I mean, he could go back into Steel, but that doesn't. <laughs> Actually, it's if you worse. have more well healthy, I assume it can take a high jump kick from low pony. I'm gonna run a call real quick. I mean, kind of depends on how much bolt you run, obviously. He does risk that actually. Oh, he went he goes into actually cool. So a uh, high jump kick to 72 to 85. So mobile is still out of range from high jump kick, which uh, yeah, that, that's why I agree with Sakurin because you don't want to take it off quick. Now, but now you could potentially. He might just play off or thunder punch or whatever he has. He gets. Oh burned. my god! Oh, when he gets the pair. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, I guess. Okay. Unless this coon has rest, but I assume it's a sub coon. And yet a guy. No! <laughs> hex okay, for well, hex. Why did you say no? You burned. I mean, hex for hex, but Skull is a 30% chance. T punch is only 10 or 20? 10, I think, right? Yes, yeah, it's only 10. So if he's not rest, this is really bad for Ash. Catch him. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is game 3, so obviously Kid has to win this. No. Oh, I guess he can burn the Celesteela and that can make it so the blue look. That boy sex is drill right now. Mawa lives the burn, shout out to burn now. And now you go. So I might just protect you to ah uh, yeah. Cause Mawa is probably faster than Celeste. Celeste runs minus speed, yeah, obviously. Pretty obvious. Now Mew can wisp here, but Kuhn is already actually the para is annoying for him because now he can like status the Kuhn. Um do you think he's gonna double into Bulu and the Suicun? Well, he can also off power, I guess. But, yeah, actually, if Kuhn gets two killed from off power after rocks, uh, then actually, I don't think Ash can go. I don't think Ash can risk going hard into Kuhn here. I forgot that rocks out, then his Kuhn is lower than I thought it was. I thought it was at 40 for some reason. 45, I thought. So I assume. Oh, yeah, he just played safe. Since, like, I said that play first, but when I realized that Kuhn was lower, then um, it makes sense that Ash can't go hard into Kuhn, obviously. So Lichi was. Uh, I mean, Willow was a fine play. No, he's gonna heavy slam here, or flamethrower, he's pushing for the burn, I see. Okay, because he's burned, that's, that way flame, heavy slam wouldn't do much because he's burned, <coughs> right, right, right. So now it's raining outside, I hope my internet doesn't yeah, die. He can, he can weaken this uh, now. Bulu can actually kind of wall this because of the, because of the burn on the Steeler, which means it cannot heavy slam the Bulu for that much damage. But he's, he does risk the burn. I assume he just exactly. protects here to get some health. You have to pray you don't, don't get burned if you... And um, you think he's gonna SD or what? Oh, is it Encore? He SDs. As he goes hard, low punny. Devil with something. So it is Encore. Yeah. That made a lot of sense to go into it. If you're not Encore, it would have been a bad play. So like, that was like the only reason you would go low punny there. And now, Mew can, I don't think the Mew can switch in because it rocks up and since it's a really fast Mew. I think it's max HP Mew with a lot of speed and like no defense investment, right? I assume that's what it is. I'm like the only one who still uses M Bolt Mew in 2018. I would still like that set. Um, I'm gonna get some hate from you being the comments right now. Did I see it? Yeah, I think I did see it. So big rip right there. Let me pause it. Okay, I'm back right now. I disconnected. Switch is really annoying, but yeah, like I said, this Mew is really fast. So low point easily to it chaos on the switch. Uh, he did just a side of sack of the Mew, then he went into his top of Bulu and went for Horn Leech after, which made um, Ash catch him game. I just switched out into the Cellar Stealer. Goes for SD, knowing that he can eat Heavy Slam, and obviously Flamethrower is the play since he is burned. Now he's Stone Edge Bulu, not Super Power. I did not expect that. What's a roll? The return? Oh. I'm, I'm, yeah, at, I'm at turn 48, I'm just rewatching. Yeah, no way, it's a roll. Did, did he forget about Protect? Wait, what? Who's talking about what? I was behind. I mean. Oh. Actually, he has Encore, so... So he switches on to Grand of Britain, the Encore. Don't go for Encore. And, oh um, my god, it was so obvious. Shuriken is like really luck... Um, Shuriken needs multiple hits here, I think, if it's Ash. Come on. I don't know if he's Scarf or Ash, like I said, so... Only the... I mean, I guess he doesn't... He didn't have to, but like, Return was actually free. I mean, Uncle yeah, was... Ash, Greninja, needs four hits actually to kill this, or five. Wow, he needed five hits, right? Yeah. This guy goes okay, for Return there. Which would have hit Bulu harder, but now. Okay, this is really bad. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> now, <he> can... <laughs> now he kind of threw. I don't know why he didn't high jump kick there. Yeah, he, he threw multiple times Wait, actually. When, uh, when else when else did he throw? I didn't watch. I, I, I think like yeah, switching. I think switching low pony like on the plus to Bulu was also kind of a misplay. Like switching Stila and 
for. Oh, I just like I went know. over the turns really fast because I missed them live because it's raining. This internet just died. So yeah, uh, Greninja died to Rock, so that's why he could not switch it out. And now this is actually an interesting endgame. No, he has to Hanley here because he obviously cannot... Mm -hmm. Well, he could have tacked it first, but he doesn't want to risk the low pony encoring him. So he just has to keep horn leeching when low pony comes out. Or, hmm. well, actually, low pony would not be the play here. This, I think, Kid yeah, wins. I think you have to make him stone no. it and then encore into him oh. into that. Oh right, right, right. He has to do that. But even if he does that, low pony does it live a stone edge at eighteen percent? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I just started recording on my second computer because I thought the internet wouldn't come back on this, but it just came back. Yeah, so it looks like Kid can. I think he has to. I don't really know. Like yeah. I, I didn't really like see the turns in detail. I just skipped through the like six, seven. Turns and this game was. I, I thought Ash had the game one hundred percent, but then we have to hit two edges though. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Yeah. Okay. Did he? Oh, we burn him too. That's over right now. Oh my! Yeah. So exactly. now Kid is zero and two, and that's really bad for him. And Ash is one and one uh, overall in ulti records. Oh, dude. Sorry, bro. Hello. Ah, okay. I mean, the doesn't crit matter. doesn't matter because. <laughs> well, actually. Wait, the roll is forty-one to forty-eight. He should encore here. Yeah, like he cannot protect because then he will get encored. There was bro. If you're sorry, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I mean, oh, he had to. Kid, what are you doing? I had to do that so the chat went wild. I mean, like that's funny. <laughs> I mean, I don't okay. think he would forfeit because, like, yeah. I mean, that's true, but do you really think he's gonna form it? Oh, he does, yeah, get, yeah. A roll. He does get the potential the roll. Spread. Did you collect the bullet with defense investment or without it? Yeah, 248 HP, 76 defense. Mm. Who choked yeah, 100 times by the way, Yeah, I guess he didn't want to reach Stone Edge crit or something. No. Oh, Edge he really did earlier. not deserve the game. Dude, that was so bad. Oh my Don't god. Don't really wanna. Um, like, what did he misplay? Can you like, tell me the turns? I gotta rewatch. Uh, I don't know. I, I wanna re Yeah, I wanna rewatch too, but I wanna say switching the Celestila out like he switched Celestila went into Lopani on the plus two Bulu, they went for edge and the Uncle was like really obvious the first time he brought the Lopani in. So I think exactly. Kid, I think Kid could have yeah, dodged it. the edge with the Lopani, which means he probably would have died. Yeah that that's what I'm saying. Okay. There was a big there was there was a throw in my opinion. Like why did he switch? <laughs> I guess Encore made it like some mind games. Only, only needed to do, all he needed to do towards the end was not anchoring, like, because there was obvious. You were turning, you win. But oh, you I mean on the Greninja switch. switch? Yeah, exactly. At turn 50. Yeah, because Encore was pretty obvious. I mean, and after that, he returned instead of high jump kicking. Yeah, that, uh. um, yeah, that <laughs> I, I didn't understand also. Yeah, look I didn't at know the roll. Chat. Look at SR chat. What, the, what they're saying to these? I mean, I guess he got a, a low roll on that, but th they will still. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't make this game an eSport. Have a blast. What? Wait, what's he saying? I'm quitting. Oh, okay, no, not again. Yeah, I think he also quit. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into After that. Ash Ninja he took a break won. from ones last year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they actually said Ash Ninja could have won. If he kept horn But yeah, they are gonna. Silver. What's it called? There's gonna be more snake games tonight. Uh, I have some more snake games from the other day. My Ultra Balls played, Colin played. I'm gonna bring you some of that. Oh, actually, you can. Insol doesn't call at the moment. His series is going up later tonight. Actually, I've got to. Yes, go. yes, yes. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you with more coverage. Oh, also more guest uploads. We got um, Yu Yu up guest upload coming probably either tonight or tomorrow from Silvio. Then we got another guest upload for NU from Count. And whenever Seal stops being lazy, we get a LC guest upload as well.